Hello! So, welcome back to the next instalment of this design series. So, the next section we need to look at is this section here where it says design gallery or whatever you've changed it to, and then these little sections underneath. Now, I've been thinking about the way that I'm going to approach this is I'm going to create this one here as a H1 tag, so heading 1. So, if I just zoom in slightly. Now, the, this section here with well, these different sentences can be achieved in different ways. So you could use uh, paragraphs or you could use an unordered list. Uh, so the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to use headings. So this will be H1, this will be H2, H3, H4, H5 and H6. So like I said, it's up to you, your preference, but this is the way I'm going to do mine. So I'm just going to zoom out slightly. So the initial thing we need to do is add in the first one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to minimize this and go into Dreamweaver. So this is where we left off previously. And I'm going to go into the source code of the index page and remove all of these uh, page breaks. So just in here, I'm going to create a H1 and I'm going to put in Design Gallery. Make sure I put a capital on that. And I'm going to close that off like so. So if you look at that in design view you can see there's the word design gallery. Now in the actual Photoshop design um, the two separate words are two different colors so the way we're going to approach this we're going to use the span tag. So here so the first word is design then I'm going to put a space and add in the tag span and then just after the word gallery I'm going to put the closing span in so it looks like that so all we're going to do we're going to target the h1 which will basically change the color for the word design and then we're going to target the h1 that has a span tag and then we'll change the color for the word gallery so what we'll do if we target the h1 first so over here in the style sheet we're going to come down and we're just going to type in the word h1 like this and we're going to say color now I can't actually remember the colour, so I'm going to go back into Photoshop and find out. So with that open, if we zoom in, uh, grab our eyedropper tool, pressing I on the keyboard, click on the word design, and we can go to our colour picker, and it gives us the colour here. So CA2F2F, and close that. And if we just come over and paste that in here, close it off, and we should now see that is red. As you can see, it's red. Well, both the words are red, but we're now going to override the word gallery and change that to white. So in the CSS, I'm just going to copy this to save a bit of time. Paste it below, but this time I'm going to type in the word span. And I'm going to change the color to FFF, which is obviously white. And now if we look at that in the design view, you can see that it's now changed to white. Now also in the design I used uh, the headline one font. So again, we would like I'd like to use that in the actual HTML design as well. So we'll use the JavaScript trick to change that later on, but for now we'll just style it up using the default font. So in the CSS. So for now I'm just going to change the text transform and I'm going to put that to uppercase and I'm going to copy that as well. And I'm going to paste it on the one below. So now they should both be uppercase, which they are. Now we also need to increase the font size a lot more than what it is at the moment. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to say font size. And I'm going to put it up to say 100 pixels and see what that looks like. Okay, so that's way too big. So we need to bring that down. So if we say 50 pixels and if we see what that looks like. So I'd like it to be a bit bigger than that. So I'm going to say 70. So that's looking probably a bit too big actually. We'll put it to say 60. So that looks a lot better now. Now we just need to nudge it down ever so slightly. So I'm going to come in here and on the H1, I'm going to say padding on the top of say 20 pixels. And we should see that come down, which it does. So that's the first portion in. Now, like I said, we're going to change the, the font later on. So if we now look at our Photoshop design, if we just zoom out, 
So we need to concentrate on these sections now. So this is going to be the H2. So while I'm here, I'm going to grab my text tool, click on the text, I'm just going to copy that straight out. And I'm going to head back on over to Dreamweaver. Now underneath the H1, I'm going to create a H2 and paste in that sentence and then close that off. So as you can see, there it is. Now what I'm going to do to actually is go back into Photoshop and copy them all out. So again, I'm going to copy this one. So this will be H3. And then just create that. So H3, H4, H5, and H6. So if we go and grab all that code, so click, copy. So as you can see here, we've got H1, which is the biggest, going down to 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So number 6 will be the smallest. So in design view, you can see that. So this is the biggest, and they're gradually getting smaller and smaller down to the very smallest one, which is the H6 there. So what we're going to do, we're going to style these um, one by one. So if we just go into the CSS, now I'm not sure if I explained this in the previous video, I don't think I did. On the OL with an LI that, which has an anchor link, I added on font size of 14. Uh, I think I skipped that by accident, so that's what I've done for that. Now just on the body, we're going to add a font family, which is going to be Arial Vedana uh, Sans Serif, like that and just close that. So with all that in place, the first one we need to style is going to be the H2. So first of all, on this H2, we are going to create a background color. Now that background color is going to be the following. So it's going to be 2C2E30. Then close that off like that. And if we look at that in the index, you can see it's got that nice sort of colour on it. Now, obviously, it's way too big and the font sizes aren't quite right. So we'll address that now. So we're going to say font size. And for this, we'll just say 18 pixels. Again, we can change all this. And you can see that's brought it down dramatically. Now, with the head heading tag, it, it stretches all the way across the page as far as it can go. So looking at this, it can only go up to the center container here. So we need to give it a width to stop it going further off. So we'll do that now. So in here, we're going to say width of about 600px. And we'll just see what that does. So we need to make it a little bit longer. So we'll say... 670 so if we just look at that in design so you can see that's pretty much spot on now what I'd like to do is obviously change the font color itself so for that we're going to go into Photoshop and I'm going to click on the first sentence and grab the color which is this color here so a8 a7 a7 so in the main CSS we're just going to add on here color and just paste on that color like that. So if we look at that in design view, it's looking quite nice. Now what we want to do is take off the bold um, text because the heading has bold on it. So I'm just going to come back to the style and say font weight. So that's the how bold it is. I'm just going to come down to where it says normal like that and that should now take that off which it has. So the next thing I want to do is add a padding on the top of the H2 and the padding on the bottom which will then make the background colour a bit taller so if we do that now so in here we're just going to say padding so on the top and the bottom if we give it 5 pixels and if we say 0 on the left and right and if we look at that you can see that's now brought it up in size so what we can do now is we can reduce the width on the actual sentence itself because we, it's not long enough anymore. So we'll put that down to 620. In fact, that's a bit too too much. So we'll put it to, say, 640. So that looks a bit better now. 
So that's the first one in place. What we will need to do is move this H2 down away from the H1. So we'll use the margin bottom on that one. So just here, we'll say margin bottom of about 10 pixels. And as you can see, that shifted it away from that heading one. So I'm not entirely sure about the size of this font, so I want to bring it down a little because I think it's a bit too big. So what we'll say here, we'll bring that down to, say, 15. So that's looking a bit better, and we'll bring in the width as well to about 600. Uh, probably a little bit more. So 580. Again, a little bit more. So we'll probably go to 540. So that's looking a bit better. Uh, what I'd like to do is actually bring this the sentence in a little from the side. So we're going to use padding left now on the H2. So here we've already added padding on the top and the bottom. So I'm going to have to do this longhand. So that's the top property. That's the right property. The bottom is going to be 5. And we're going to shift it in 5 from the left as well. And now that should kick it in, which it has. And I want to bring down the, the width of it a little bit more, probably say 500. Okay, so we need to nudge that up slightly, so 520, like that. So that's the first one in place. Now what we can pretty much do is we're going to be using the same sort of styles, is copy this, paste it below, call this H3, like that. Now that's obviously going to change it to the same styling. Um, but what we can do now, because we've created it all, we just need to change the values. So the background colour for this one is going to be 4E5053. So we should see a lighter colour appear on that one now, which we do. Now we also need to kick this one away from the H2. So the H2 needs to have margin bottom as well. So I'm going to just create a bit of space because it's getting a bit busy here now. So just nudge all these down onto one line like that. And then here we're going to say margin on the bottom of about, say, five pixels. So what we'll do, we'll remove this one just to save a bit of time recopy this one, paste it below and change that to H3 and we just need to add the background colour back in again. So this is going to be 4E5053 and now we should see a bit of a difference. So now we've got the gap in between. So in the design this sentence was a little bit bigger so for the H3 I'm going to increase the font size to 17. So as you can see, that's bigger, but we now need to make the box wider. So for the width, we'll change that to 560. Okay, so it needs to be a bit bigger, so we'll change it to 600. Like that, so that's looking pretty good now. So we've got that, that section in. So again, we're going to copy the style of the H3. And then this in turn will become H4. So the background colour for H4 is 2C2E30 and the font size for this was smaller so I'm going to put this to 14 so if we look at that in design we could probably do with bringing that font size down one more so we'll put that to 13 so that's now decreased in size now again we just need to bring the width in so we'll change that to 580 so that's looking pretty good. Now we the next one is going to be this one here. Now we need to, in the design, I can see there's a bigger gap. So on the H4 here on the bottom, we're going to change that to 10 pixels now, which now kicks the bottom one away a little bit more. So again, I'm going to copy this, paste this for H5. Now this color is going to be a different color again for the background. So that's going to be 4E5053. And this font size looks to be much bigger than 13, so we're going to put that to 17 as well. Now, remember, we need to change this to H5. Now, if we look at that in design view, 
you can see that's increased in size. Now, there isn't as much text in here, so again, we need to bring this down in size. So the width will bring down to 480. And we'll drop it down a little bit more to 450. So that's looking pretty good to me. Now, the final one we need to look at is this bottom one here. So again, it's the same principle. Let's just copy what we've already done paste it in below. So this is going to be number six and the background color for this one is going to be the same color and the font size we're going to bring down to 15 and if we look at that in design you can see there it is again we just need to bring up bring down the the width so that's going to be quite a big drop so if we take that down to 200 maybe nope so that needs to be a little bit bigger so I'm going to put that to 220 no, so it needs to be a little bit more. So let's go to 260. Like that. I think we need to bring it down a little bit more. So we'll go to 240. And that should do the trick. So some of these fonts don't actually match up with the actual colors uh, in the Photoshop design. So we need to remedy that problem. So if we go back into Photoshop, so the second line, if we click on that, we can find the color here, which is D7, D7, D7. And we can change that in the CSS. So that would be the H3. So if we come up to the H3, we just need to change the color to that. Now, if we go back into Photoshop, do the same on the next one. Just copy that straight out and paste that on number four. And then if we get the next one, I think that's the same color to be honest. So if I just check that, so H5, yep, and I think the final one is a different color. So we click on that, and that one's D7, D7, D7 as well. So we can replace that one like that. And if we look at that in design view, you can now see the different colors, which is looking a lot nicer. So if we preview that in a web page, so as you can see in the web page that is starting to come together now, uh, we've got all the different sections in here. The, the, in the next episode, what we'll do, we'll add in the nice little shadows here uh, on the end of both of these uh, sections. And then once that's in place, we're then ready to be adding in the main eight images for the actual design gallery. And we're nearly finished, to be honest. Uh, the next sort of episodes after that, we'll add in the, all the jQuery uh, and all of the goodness of the different fonts from using the JavaScript. So as usual, guys, thanks for watching. Please leave any comments below. Feel free to subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.